How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get a chiseled jawline for men. And I will give you guys a couple exercises as well. So I have made a video or two about the jawline, but I keep getting more and more comments from people saying make more videos, make more videos. So this video, I'm going to give you guys every single tip that I know to absolutely make sure that you guys have an amazing jawline. So the first tip is going to be your salt intake, you guys. Watch your salt intake. A lot of people nowadays, their diet consists of a ton of fast food, lots of sodium. What that sodium does is that makes you retain a ton of water. And that water is going to go into your jawline, you guys, into your neck. going to make you appear to have a less jawline, maybe even a double chin. Tip number one, watch your sodium intake. For people who do not know, your average sodium intake per day should be around 2,300 milligrams. If you have high blood pressure, it should be around 1,500 milligrams. Second tip is going to uh, pertain to the first tip, drink more water. When you drink lots of water, what that's going to do is that's going to make you very hydrated. You're going to look a lot, lot leaner in your face, you guys. So make sure you drink lots of water. Third tip, if you guys have a ton of hair coming down your sideburns or the side of your hair, what this does is this makes you have a rounder face. That's why for me, you guys, I always go with the short haircut. You guys can see my haircut right now. I go with a faux hawk with the number one on the side. The top is cut pretty short this time around. Usually I like to have a little bit longer, but I keep my sides very short. That's why I always get compliments on my jawline, you guys, because it just makes my jawline look leaner and it makes it look more sharp because I do not have a lot of hair, you guys. And people who do have good jawlines, majority of them will not have long hair and they won't have hair that comes all the way down to their head like this, you guys. So make sure the sides of your head, it's not too long or it will make your face look rounder. Fourth tip is going to be make your... Um, Make your uh, facial hair, if you have any, make it kind of look like a chin strap, like what I have going. Don't make it too full on the sides and don't make it too long. You do not want a long facial hair, like long beard. Um, if you have amazing, amazing jawline genetics, then yes, you can try for it. But most people, they do really well with a little bit of stubble or just the chin strap of what I have going. Do not let your chin strap or your stubble get too long. This will make your jawline look awful, you guys. Fifth tip is going to be chew gum. Chewing gum is an amazing exercise. People do not know about this, but this actually helps your jawline, believe it or not. Just think about it. When you are chewing gum, you are working your jaw. And if you chew uh, gum for long enough, like I do, uh, I'll chew couple hours at a time and my jaw will actually be sore like I'll actually rub it I'll be like damn that's really sore and I'll spit the gum out and I'll stop doing it but because I've done that for so long I've just developed the most insane jawline and I owe that to chewing gum very simple very easy very effective for anyone who's really strapped for cash go to big stores like Costco Walmart buy gum in bulk and it's very cheap you guys that's the fifth tip I'm trying to think of more tips. Sixth tip, uh, an amazing exercise that helps your jawline, your chin, and your neck. And that's simply just looking up and looking down. I have mentioned that before in a video, but people think that this exercise is a joke or that it does not work. Um, just do this to yourself right now. Look straight up and do feel a stretch in your neck or your jawline. Just answer that question. Look straight up and you feel that stretch. Guarantee you right now you do that. I guarantee you anyone and everyone who's watching this video who does that felt that stretch guaranteed doesn't matter if you like this video if you don't like this video if you agree with the tips you don't you felt that stretch the reason being is because you are working your jawline you are working your neck that will strengthen it when you feel that stretch when you feel that burn you are working it some people are going to say well that's going to stretch my neck it's going to give me a turkey neck it's going to make it longer it's going to make it saggier no it doesn't the same reason why when you do a bicep curl you're not stretching your skin and it doesn't look flabby what's going to happen is it's going to tighten your jawline you guys um the last most important tip that i said it before in, uh, a few of my videos already and this pertains to my whole channel in general is that if you want a good jawline simply lose weight uh, 95 percent of you will have an amazing jawline but 95 percent of you guys do not look sub 10 percent body fat most of you think just because you can see the top of your abs or a little bit of your abs you're 10 12 percent body fat not at all. You should be able to see a full six-pack abs, you guys. 
So if you do not have that, which a lot of people don't, don't feel discouraged, what you need to do is start slowly losing body weight. If you're, let's say 195 pounds, get to 185, have a look at your jawline. Guaranteed it'll look better. Now from 185, go to 175. Night and day difference. I have video, I have a video of me and pictures of me when I was 200 pounds, which uh, that's what I bulked to. When I got to 170, my jawline looked in insane because I got rid of all the fat in my face. So end the video, hope you guys did enjoy this. Tap the subscribe button below, please, if you haven't already, and please like the video and share it. Peace.